channel. Today I made a little something. I didn't want to film myself cooking it because it seems a little self-explanatory, but basically you're seeing a half done version of animal style hot dogs. So all I've done so far is I got top cut hot dog buns, which I actually got a tip from the Josh Elkin. I'll put his handle right here. Uh, he always gets top cut hot dog buns and they're the kind that's also used for like uh, lobster rolls. They're great because they stand up pretty well on their own and they have that open area on the side. So you get like the white bread that you can just like butter and toast and it's magnificent. Then I just got some organic grass-fed beef hot dogs. You can get whatever hot dogs you want. Just make sure that they are the right size for the bun. And then I went to McDonald's because I love McDonald's fries. And so I got a large fry and I just piled them on top of each hot dog. And then I put one slice of American cheese on top of that. When I went to California last September, I went to In-N-Out and I got extra spreads. So I've been saving them for a special occasion and I figured now is the perfect time because I have three of these packets and three hot dogs. It's perfect. So let's go ahead and spread slash sauce our hot dogs. Now we can go ahead and add the last ingredient and that is grilled onions. And all I did was saute some diced onions in butter and olive oil together. Um, I crisped mine up pretty well. It is worth noting that their onions are called grilled onions and not caramelized onions. So you don't necessarily need to go low and slow with the onions. You can do them on an actual grill if you want, um, but you can cook them up a little bit faster than you would caramelized onions in a saute pan. I love the idea of these two because I don't know if you guys are familiar with gyros or gyros as they look like they're pronounced, but when I was in Greece, I learned that gyro are now more traditionally served with french fries inside. The french fries apparently go really, really well with the tzatziki sauce, and so I thought that the spread and the french fries and the hot dog together would be kind of like gyro meat and tzatziki and french fries together. And they each have a carb wrapper, so I didn't really feel bad about doubling up on the carbs here. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, I'm starving. I'm gonna go ahead and eat. This is my pre-workout meal today. <laughs> slash my only meal today. Altogether, actually, the calories are a little over 1,500. Let me get you the exact number. Oh, okay, so sorry, 1,643 calories. My allotted calories, since I am in a bulking phase, which means I'm trying to gain muscle, in order to gain muscle, you need to at least eat your maintenance calories. You really need to eat over that. And so for me, it's around 2,200. So that means that I'll have like 500 or so calories to eat after the gym, which I will probably dedicate to dessert. And also dedicate to protein because this is not nearly enough protein for me for the day. This is 52 grams of protein and I need 120. So I'll probably be doing a triple scoop of protein powder for dessert, maybe with some ice cream. All right, let's do this. Oh yeah. The fries are great because they add the texture too. So first, fries, delicious. And second, you got like the meaty 
kind of pop from the hot dog and then the crunchy fatty also-ness from the french fries. Also, In-N-Out spread is essentially ketchup and mayonnaise mixed together with relish. And all of those things are delicious on hot dogs. So this is really the perfect topping. I don't know if you guys have had Colombian hot dogs before, but those have pink sauce on it. Pink sauce is just ketchup and mayo. And they add all this other shit on top of it too. I have got to make some of those. They put like potato chips, crushed potato chips, crushed pineapple. Uh, mozzarella cheese, the pink sauce. It's ridiculous. I definitely need to do a mukbang with that. It is so easy to make your own animal style anything at home because the only thing that you really need to like find a recipe for or just like go and get is the spread. And again, it's really just like Thousand Island or special sauce. Alrighty. So another tip that I have, when I was assembling these, I, um, I had gone to get my McDonald's fries already, obviously, and they had gotten a little cold. So I just turned the broiler on in the oven and I spread all the fries out on a sheet pan. And so while those were getting all hot and toasty again in the oven, I started assembling the hot dogs. So I just opened up the buns, put the hot dogs inside, and all I did for the hot dogs is I put them in the microwave. I mean, you can make them however you want. You can boil them, you can saute them, you can deep fry them, grill them, whatever the freaking hell you feel like. I 
felt lazy. And so I just put them in the microwave for like a minute to a minute and a half. So then I just put that in and took the fries out, piled them on top, put each slice of cheese on top, put them back under the broiler, just until it gets into all of like the little crevices and everything, it, like just blankets all of the french fries. And then it's done. All you have to do is put the rest of the toppings on, which I waited to do for you so that you could see me do it because it's fun. Fries overboard. Real quick, I just wanted to touch on something that I think is just extra, extra, extra ridiculous, but that I get comments about pretty much every single day, and it's literally making me go insane. I might be over-dramatizing it, but this whole thing about mukbangers spitting out their food is so disgusting and ridiculous and what I want to know is how people think like I'm out in public at restaurants with people at other times and they're still accusing me of spitting out my food like in public I have like a spit bucket or something where I'm just spitting out my food in front of my friends like like they wouldn't be completely grossed out by something like that it's just weird Rest assured, I am not spitting out my food. And I really don't feel like I eat so much in these videos that it means that I would have to be spitting out my food. Like some of these other mukbangers that eat like tons and tons and tons, I can, I can maybe see somebody having like a disorder, like how could they possibly be eating that much? But there's tons of people that just have enormous appetites. And so who are we to say and that they are or they aren't. Like, it's their lives. If they're hurting themselves, then that's awful and they need to get help. But don't further give them a complex by accusing them of not swallowing their food. It does not matter. At the end of the day, it just doesn't matter. People are gonna watch or they're not gonna watch and they're gonna be entertained or they're not gonna be entertained. And at the end of the day, them having swallowed their food or not does not matter. <clears throat> All right. 
last doggy. Yes. <laughs> For those of you wondering like about how I'm able to eat this much, I'm like getting full right now. So eating this, I'm going to be extremely full, but the point is that I need to get a certain amount of calories if I'm going to gain muscle, which is really my goal right now. Oh my God. Yesterday, last night, I was so full. I, I did not plan my calories out very well. I filmed myself a couple of days ago doing yesterday's Instagram post for real good foods and they have like really high protein foods and so I was like ooh this is gonna like add up to all these calories and most people like think oh low in calories that's great well, I need to like meet my calories for the day and I typically give myself a shorter eating window so I ate 500 calories of this real good food stuff and when I got home I had to eat 1700 calories and my plan was to eat tacos well I had to eat like six enormous tacos with the leftover carnitas that I had in order to get my protein and then it still wasn't enough because I had to have another scoop of protein and a pint of ice cream to get the rest of, of my calories in. <laughs> Which is actually, it's super easy for me to add dessert. Like right now, I'm a little full. I could eat dessert. I could always eat dessert. It's about switching in between the salty food and the sweet food. Anyways, I'm gonna be late for the gym if I keep talking. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm so full. Thank God this is my last bite. <laughs> I didn't want you guys to think I was spitting out my food. That was just a really big bite. And I didn't want the food to be seen outside of my mouth.
All right, I am so full. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I will put a brief description of how I made the hot dogs again in the description below. So take a look at that if you would like to make them yourself. Make sure you give this video a like. If you like what you saw today, comment below what you'd like to see me eat next. Or if you have any questions about what I ate today, please comment that below as well. And if you'd like to see more of me, please hit that red subscribe button and then we can see each other all the time. Oh, and if you wanna see different content, me living my life on the daily and other shorter eating videos plus teasers for these YouTube videos, you can check me out on Instagram at the underscore hunger underscore diaries. All right guys, thanks again for joining me. I have got to run to the gym now and hopefully not throw up. Wish me luck. See you next time. Bye.